So I don't have too much good news. We've asked the secretary to deal with the issues that we think are systemically involved with solving the problem. We've tried to meet with the secretary, John Boyd, and a few of our members, but they told us as a group they didn't have time to deal with some of the issues of our concern. And some of those issues begin, and let me say something about the Office of Civil Rights. The same people that had worked for the last eight years or eight and a half years to destroy civil rights are the same people in the Office of Civil Rights who are advising the people that President Obama has set down here to so-called bring what three things. He promised us change. There is no change if you have the same people, right. the, what we call the fox watching the hen house. Right. Right. If they're naive and don't understand what the process is all about right. and haven't kept up with this issue, they're going to listen to the Office of General Counsel. Right. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna listen to the employees from the Office of Civil Rights. Right. Right. And let me tell you what some of these people in the Office of Civil Rights did. They don't all only discriminate against their own employees. Those employees that have spoken out, whistleblowers who, who spoke out and reported information that was factual to the government accounting office, who came out with a report in September of 08 talking about the problems that the coalition has been talking about since 1994. Things have not changed in USDA. They have changed. Have not changed. Now, what they also do in the Office of Civil Rights. They have people in the Office of Civil Rights who are planning the continued demise of employees and farmers. For example, how in the world could they find 15,000 cases all of a sudden? That means that the Office of Civil Rights under the Bush administration has been covering up the filing and, the, and ceased to process farmers' complaints as they came in that office. But they don't just do that to farmers alone. They treat their own employees the same. That's right. So you have a culture in the Department of Agriculture, and it's a plantation culture. And by the way, that plantation culture does not isolate itself to those people who just look like me, but it looks like other people, the browns, the whites. They don't care when it comes to discrimination. If you're Asian, if you're black, if you're a woman, we have people, women who are pushed downstairs and abused and nothing done about it. What we need to do is change that plantation mentality. And USDA has a title that it still has because of one reason, because you have to stand out here today and talk about your rights. That is because the, this department is called the last plantation, and it's not going to change just because we have a black president. Now, but this president said on the eve of change, he said he was going to bring about change. He also said he was going to bring about transparency. That means opening up the process and making sure that people whose complaints come in to this department, they are processed fairly, they are investigated fairly, they are processed speedily. Because if we don't, five or six years from now, they'll be covering up another 10 or 12,000 complaints. That's right. That's now, the right. problem we have at USDA, the one thing that our president said, we want to bring about accountability in government. While we talk about accountability with AIG and the banking companies and Wall Street, he needs to come down on Independence Avenue and get his employees that he sent down here, political appointees, to make sure accountability is being used and adhered to based on what he says at the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Can I get an applause on that? I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I think that what you hear today, it has nothing to do with numbers, ladies and gentlemen. John Boyd just put a call out there, and we got farmers from all over the southern region. Alabama. Give me another state. Georgia. Mississippi. North Carolina. Give me another one. Is Texas out there anywhere? Texas. What about Louisiana? Is Louisiana out there anywhere? But 
Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Now, the numbers here, this is a press conference to bring to the attention of the American people in this administration. We have all the confidence in the world in our president. But we're here to bring attention to what we don't feel comfortable with, and that is the people that have been hired under his administration. We want him to bring accountability and dignity and respect for farmers, all farmers of this country, and the USDA employees. Thank you very much. Give Lucas a round of applause. That brother. Lucas was my mentor, can't you tell? We're going to get just a quick slogan before I bring the next speaker up. Pay the black farmers. 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 All right.